ChatGPT just changed the entire marketing and advertising game with their new create an image feature. This new feature allows you to create perfect Facebook ads that look just like your top competitors all in just minutes using a couple simple prompts. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to create pro level Facebook ads using 100% AI in just minutes. All right, so it's pretty scary how good this has gotten, but I'm gonna show you a couple examples of how I've used AI here to create awesome Facebook ads. And I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step exactly how to do this yourself. So you can create virtually any ad that you need for any type of product. So here's an example of ad that I just created using the reference image of uh, I am eight, which is David Beckham's new supplement company and using a completely different product in a completely different industry. I was able to plug in this prompt using this reference image, adding in the different headline and the copy that I wanted to use to output this ad right here, which has a background that matches my product perfectly with all of the uh, headlines that match and the actual benefits surrounding all in this style of ad. All right. And another thing that I was able to do right here was I was able to take this image right here, which is Breeze, which is a uh, product, and that's actually their product uh, photography, which is obviously high quality, has a really clean background, everything like that. And just take this simple image of you know somebody holding the product, in this case, a monster can, and then asked it to create me a similar product image to that reference image um, using the same background, but for the actual product that I uploaded. And so this is what it outputted, this monster ad right here, which you could easily take this and then apply the same principles to then output a really beautiful looking ad using this new reference image. And you could also use this as, you know, product imagery on your website. And then the same thing here as well on for clothing. So I asked it, I gave it the reference image of this Gymshark model right here and gave it a product photo, just a product photo on a white background and asked it to create me a model shot using the reference image with the actual uh, product that I wanted. And so it outputted a beautiful image of an actual model with that kind of Gymshark style background showing off the product. And you could do that for multiple different angles and you can get an entire thing to use on your website and also use this to create ads for your product. Okay, so here's the prompts and exactly how to use this. Now, if you want these prompts, uh, simply just go ahead and screenshot this and then you can copy everything in the screenshot to go ahead and then actually input that into ChatGPT. And so what you're gonna to wanna to do here is grab this first one, and this is the competitor example that I just showed you right here. And so I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to do this, but the first step right here to creating that, and again, we're gonna be creating something like this. So you can use any reference image with any product using this prompt right here, and we can output exactly the same type of image and add style exactly for the product that we want. Okay, so the first step right here is to do some research and find a competitor that we wanna copy and emulate. And we just wanna grab a screenshot of that ad. All right, so let's go to the Facebook ad library here. And what we're gonna do is search up a brand, you know, competitor that we wanna use and emulate, you know, one of their ads. So let's say we wanna go Manscaped as an example right here. And so we look up Manscaped and then we can just browse through all of their ads right here. And so they have obviously a lot of, you know, video ads, different image ads. Um, we kind of just want to find one that essentially, you know, we want to emulate. Um, ideally, you know, it's like a benefit driven ad, um, you know, with uh, kind of a clear um, call to action, you know, within that ad. And so if we scroll, scroll down here, you know, we'll kind of find something that, you know, emulates uh, an ad that we could do, you know, for example, we could do something like this, we could do, you know, a competitor ad as well, which I think is a pretty cool idea. So let's actually try this out. So let's go into here. And let's copy this ad see if we can get it. So yeah, this is the one by one version. So let's go ahead and screenshot this ad. And we're going to try to do this, but for a different kind of razor company, we're going to try to do this exact same ad, right? And just replace the ad copy for ourselves. And so what we're going to do here is just go ahead and find a competitor. Okay. Now let's say we're going to use Henson shaving right here. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and grab this product image as well. Just go ahead and copy this. All right. Now we're going to go into chat GPT. We're going to start a new chat right here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and grab now that we have the reference image and we have the stock image, we're gonna go ahead and grab this prompt right here and we're gonna to go to create an image and we're gonna paste this in. Now, what this says here is create an image ad that models the design layout and style of the example image attached first. So we're gonna go ahead and attach that. Okay, so if you wanted to change the background, so in that other kind of example I showed you, I did change the background to kind of match the product um, if that's applicable in this case. Uh, in this case, I do like the background already. So in this image, you can kind of see it's like gold, with the black and then this one's green. 
And so we can kind of leave the background, but if you wanted to change the colors there, you could change the colors uh, as well or something like that. But I'm gonna say, uh, leave the background as it is. I'm just gonna say model for the background. Match the overall aesthetic of the, of the image on the left. Replace the product with our product name. So we're gonna go Henson Shaving. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna also upload in the uh, actual product image that we want this ad to be created for. So now I got both images in there. Okay, and then we're just gonna adjust the copy now. So you can see in this one we have, you know, skin safe blade heads included, interchangeable blade heads, waterproof, uh, LCD display. And so we wanna change those ones to match it. So we're gonna say gentle on the skin as the first benefit here. So, so this one, so we're gonna grab the uh, title of the product right here, which is the Henson AL13. And that's gonna be the headline essentially. Place the product with Henson shaving. Update the headline to say uh, Henson AL13. Update the logo. Update the main copy too. And this is where we're gonna add in the benefits right there. Okay, so now we're gonna add in the benefits. So gentle on the skin is gonna be the first one. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. We're gonna add lifetime warranty as well. And let's say cheaper to own as well. I like this as a benefit as well. Okay, so we're pretty much done with this. So now we have uh, create an ad image that models the design layout and style of the example image attached first. Uh, model the example image for the background, match the overall aesthetic of the image on the left, replace the product with Henson shaving, update the headline to say the product name Henson AL13, update the logo, update the main copy to gentle on the skin, and say the main benefits copy, not sustainable, lifetime warranty, keep the vibe and consistent with the image. Boom, so now we're done. We're gonna upload this and we're gonna see what it spits out. And this is the final result. Look how awesome this ad looks right here. So you can see that it took the same kind of design elements overall. It made some slight adjustments to them. So this one kind of had this circle right here. And now it just made the entire background kind of like a dirty bathroom, which I actually like. I think it stands out a lot more. It took that product, obviously, removed the hand that was actually in the product and just made it cut out completely visible, has all those little details in the actual product, has the product name, right, in a, in a similarly matched font. It has all the benefits that I added in, gentle on the skin, cheaper to own, sustainable, non-disposable, right? And so you could adjust those things if you want to adjust those headlines. But you can see it's not perfect right here. We can see the old rusty razor right here is, has some of these uh, benefits right here, which don't make any sense. And so we would need to essentially reprompt this to include these benefits that were listed previously in the other ad. So it's not quite perfect, but obviously saves you a ton of time. And this only took me a couple minutes and I could reprompt this to essentially uh, clean up some of those uh, errors that I've had. So if you needed to, you could easily do a couple other prompts to try to clean things up or just reprompt the whole thing to generate a new ad. So there will be some inconsistencies in terms of when you prompt it again, it might generate a bit of a different ad. Uh, but overall, really great tool uh, and really great method to generate pro ads in seconds. And if there's any small errors as well, you can easily download this ad and then go ahead and use Photoshop to you know, uh, crop out uh, certain parts of it, add in text to make it match. Um, but this is just a great way to uh, output an ad and this only took a couple of minutes. So that's the best way that I found to create pro level Facebook ads with AI in minutes. Use a reference image, use a new product, and get it to generate an ad that looks similar to the reference image that you provided to get the best results. However, with AI, there's gonna be new developments. This is only gonna be getting better from here. And so stick around for new videos that are coming out around AI and how to best leverage it. Now, if you're interested in advertising and how to get better results, check out this video next. I really think you're gonna like it.